What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol BKKT for backed holdings. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. We've covered this one on the channel in the past. And the main thing to talk about is the firm breakdown and acceptance underneath $30.50. So if we take a look at the 30 minute intraday time frame, again, firm break, never even retested, and then we grinded lower into this overall section of chop from in the chart right here. That's really when the madness kicked off and things were flying all over the place. So we should at least be made aware of this area of support. It's right where we kind of parked ourselves into Friday's afternoon session at 2535 uh, in the post market. We're trading 2555 by 2565 or 68, excuse me. So currently above that, but start to use this as a line in the sand. It's about the midpoint as well of this overall range right here, about 50%, not the most perfect thing, but uh, we're always going to opt for structure instead of perfect percentage numbers. So taking a closer look at the 30 minute intraday structure that has been put in, does it signal that we would see any sort of reversal yet? And the answer is no, right? If you look at these upper wicks, it's certainly indicating a lot of selling pressure still within the stock. Look at the last hour of today's session, made an attempt to go higher, get more acceptance into this part of today's distribution. But obviously that was rejected and we closed weak kind of right at this area of support, which we just pointed out. So to me, I would not really be looking to try to catch a bottom here. The daily candle is an inverted hammer. We have earnings around the corner. There's just too much going on right now uh, for me to say, you know, the setup looks good. The pattern looks good. It looks like it's coming into a solid support. None of that really exists right here. So I would be patient. I'd probably wait for earnings to blow over here. It does look like we could go lower. In that instance, we have support down below at 21, the low end of this pullback from in here. After that, we have 1750. I, I really wouldn't want to see the stock, you know, just to point it out. I really wouldn't want to see it underneath 21. In that instance, I would sort of say all bets are kind of off in this general area. I would wait for some sort of structure. So 21 is kind of my line in the sand, at least. If it does want to perk up and go higher, obviously we know the back test of 3050 should be an important area of resistance. From there, we can watch out for the resistance trend line if we just extend that to the right. There we go. So maybe it ties in actually. It does something like this and then resist here. I don't know. The chart just does not look beautiful to me right now for a long, and you're not going to short this thing, of course. If we come on over here, it's hard to borrow, and the put contracts, uh, actually, there's some okay open interest here at the 15 strike, at the 20 strike, uh, but overall, I mean, in the, in here, on the at the money and in the money strikes, not very attractive to try to play puts here inside of backed, so I wouldn't try to short this thing or take advantage of any sort of downside inside of the name. That's really going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.